Hello and welcome to the KX Country Clubhouse. I'm Derek Mann from KX96 Afternoons, joined today by Sasha. How you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Uh, you've got a pretty busy summer ahead. Uh, we'll get into that in a moment, but uh, I want to go back for a minute. This is the first time we've met, so nice to meet you virtually, by the way. Uh, how nice does, to officially meet you. Thank you. How does uh, this small town girl from Workworth, Ontario, get into the music industry to where you've gotten to so far? Oh, gee, well, it helps that my parents were really musical. They uh, were in a band, so in Workworth, you know, it's small town living, country living, and um, lots of rehearsals took place in the home. Tons of instruments were in our home. Um, I got to see my parents play at gigs and in our backyard bonfire sessions. So it's kind of in my DNA. I kind of had no choice but to pick up music and take that passion with me all the way up until now. Yeah, exactly. Was it was it always country music that you were drawn to, like from a young age, or? I had every influence of music um, growing up from inception um obviously living in a small town you know warkworth ontario also known as cheese country and you know rolling <laughs> hills <laughs> you cheese also country did you say cheese country oh, um geez. yeah wicked cheese curds um oh my and god then the and then the cheese factory that it, that was a thing too but uh okay. yeah so i mean country music is just kind of a part of who i am where i'm from but again, well, I had either so that much. or cheese, I guess, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I also had multi-genre influence because my parents were just like, you know, they just did a little bit of everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, I do want to talk about uh, your latest collaboration, uh, Confident, uh, for a moment, with uh, which is, I mean, a crazy Canadian collaboration at that. What was it like working with Tyler Shaw on that one? Tyler Shaw is awesome. Great energy, fun guy to work with um and it's just as much as passionate about that whole topic and confidence and the song and the theme mm -hmm. as i am that's awesome yeah i have so much respect for him as well uh i met him years ago at the mmvas actually of like all places uh but he's come up in canadian music as well so i just think that's an awesome canadian collaboration uh right there now you have a busy summer ahead as mentioned you kind of already kicked it off last weekend really right the key to bala yeah that that was a riot. Um, lots of fun. Never get tired of getting on the stage with the rec laws and doing what the truck and just the the energy from the crowd and how much fun that is. That's awesome. I, I still have what the truck on repeat uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, and I know there was a process with that song, um, getting a collaborator on that. What was that like for you becoming uh, for that becoming a, a whole collaboration between you guys? It's a dream come true. Like I love the, the rec laws from the first time I heard of them. Actually, I think it was uh, Boots and Hurt when I first saw Jen on stage. Okay. Um, and just even from then and their journey, I've been a huge fan of them. And um, I didn't expect any of this to come about, but it couldn't have come about any better. I mean, like it was just something that was on TikTok and I was humming and humming, like, should I yeah. do it, should I not? Like whatever, you know, like, you know, whatever. So I just jumped on and I did it and I turned around and probably went and did dishes or something and never thought anything about it until Jenna DMs me and says, hey, we love what you did and we want you to be a part of the song. And I was like, Is that how it went this down? She sent you a DM? That's exactly how it went down. Yeah, she sent me a DM and I was like, is this a joke? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, LOL, it's not a joke. And the rest is history, so. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Well, I'm hoping that we might be able to see that live uh, for us in KX country for the upcoming Kawartha Country Music Festival. Uh, that's July 1st and 2nd. I believe uh, you guys are the second, uh, but that is right. a good time. Are you getting excited for that? Uh, I'm stoked. Uh, I've got some rehearsals coming up. So yeah, I'm getting back in shape and just getting ready to have a good time out on stage with everyone. Absolutely. And uh, just following that, you've got kind of a hometown show, I guess, uh, the Campbellford show. Uh, what's it like when you when you do go back home and play or is this like a first time thing for something i guess on a bigger scale as you with the solo artist it's definitely a first time thing on a bigger scale so solo artist everything you said <laughs> and yeah, yeah i mean <laughs> i mean i've been back to sing at my home school i've been back to sing um at the city hall for a, an event that was going on but nothing of this magnitude so mm -hmm. i'm really excited 
um it's like it feels like almost slightly like a full circle moment where it's yeah like you yeah you come out of this little small town you go about your way and you know everyone moves on but then you never forget the little people and you never forget who you are and where you come from so they always tell you that anyways that you don't you don't want to forget about those people anyways um, I did want to congratulate you, uh, CMA Ontario nominee uh, for this year and a performer as well. That's coming up pretty soon. Is that kind of your next uh, big event? Yeah, pretty much. Um, that's coming up really soon. And I'm excited about it. I've always loved, you know, being a part of the country community here in Ontario. And yeah. I'm just honored that, you know, that you get a little bit of recognition, a little pat on the back. And, and uh, it's awesome. I, I love the community and I'm very excited about this nomination. So we got that coming up. We got, like I said, the Court of the Country Music Festival coming up. A lot coming up in a short period of time. But uh, what does Sasha have time for this summer? What does Sasha have time for this summer? Um, yeah. I'm well. I split my time. I'm back and forth in Nashville and here, and mm -hmm. um, I I just summer. You really don't really get a lot of time for much. I like to go to the back roads. I like to go on my longboard and just take a rip down the back roads there. Um, so it. when I I'll probably do that today um and uh just kind of get myself i'm trying i'm tr going back to the gym just trying to get my my endurance going for the shows and oh yeah 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 writing and anything i can do in between but it's going to be quite busy we have cma fest coming up in nashville as well so it's like yes i did see that as well so you're going to be back and forth even more yeah so it's kind of sasha has time to travel that's what sasha has time to do. <laughs> Well, it's going to be a busy summer for you. Like I said, looking forward to the Court of the Country Music Festival. Uh, CMA Ontario is next weekend for you. That's going to be big as well. So again, congratulations on your nominee. Uh, and thanks for taking the time to talk today. Uh, hopefully we can uh, meet in person soon. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. So enjoy the time that you do have also to yourself this summer, okay? I will. <laughs> okay. All right, Sasha. Thank so you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.